Welcome back. So we're finally at the course conclusion in this short lecture. Just want to kind of recap the entire idea of what Figma is and what do we do, what do we cover in this course. So we started off with understanding the actual interface, what Figma looks like, the difference between Figma Online and Figma Desktop. This is obviously Figma Desktop. It's real time. So whatever changes you do here are reflected online and vice versa. Then we got into the frame tool and the slice tool and various tools on this menu. Took a look at different shapes, how to create shapes. Obviously, I assigned some homeworks along the way so that hopefully you're practicing with some of these shapes that I did not demonstrate. So you could actually use it and then, of course, post any of the questions in the discussion area. We also use the pen tool, the text, comments, a fairly straightforward, didn't really show you, but you can actually use it. If you have any questions, just ask. These are comments that you can place for other developers or team members that you're collaborating with. They can actually see the comments that you place for each of these images. So you can simply select, for instance, this particular image on the splash screen, click on the show comments or insert a comment and kind of gives you the comment box. I can say this logo is great and simply post. So this kind of places a little marker here that shows me that there's a comment regarding this particular object. And of course, I can always reply to this comment and so on. So the entire conversation is being placed in Figma. Okay, so we also talked about other areas such as the center options here, constraints, edit object, of course, we took a look at, we took a look at the constraints or the components, rather, masking I demonstrated and also the concept of union selection and then selecting or masking or taking two different objects and then merging these two objects as union, intersection, and so on. So on the right side of the menu, we talked about the actual presentation. So once you have the screens app design made, you can present it. So it automatically transitions from one screen to the other. You can share and collaborate your design with other developers and team members. And of course, you can zoom in and hide. We also talked about the right side of the pane, design, prototype, and code tabs pretty extensively in this course. On the left, we took a look at different layers, how to navigate, how to create groups. So it's easier for you to actually work with. And more importantly, the concept of constraints and then components, each component can have various instances that you can copy across. We also took a look at how to work with different kinds of effects, export, and again, some of these areas are fairly straightforward. I've assigned several homeworks along each of these lectures, so you can kind of take a look at and practice. So I hope overall this kind of gave you a sense of Figma, a solid understanding of using Figma as an app design tool. So if you're an entrepreneur, freelancer, or you're working for yourself or your company, your organization, you're designing apps, this is a great tool to use. So with this, I'd like to thank you once again for enrolling in this course, and I look forward to having you in my next set of courses. Thanks again, and have yourself a wonderful day.